If you see a 500 internal server error on your WordPress website for the first time, it might be quite confusing and frustrating. After all, there's no other information provided to show the cause or fix of the error. But worry not. This video will show how you can easily fix the 500 internal server error on your WordPress website. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. The 500 internal server is usually caused by issues with plugin or theme functions. However, a corrupted .ht access file or an exhausted PHP memory limit can also be the cause. Though it won't solve the error, you can figure out the exact issue by enabling debugging on your WordPress website. Access the wp-config.php file using FTP. Here, you should be able to find the debug code. To enable debugging, its value should be true. If you can't find the code, just copy and paste this code from the article in the description. So there are a few simple steps you can take to troubleshoot this error. But note that more than one of these fixes may be required to eliminate the error on your WordPress website. So it's recommended that you follow the steps in order and do not undo a step immediately if it doesn't work. Here we go. If a corrupted .ht access file is the issue, simply renaming it can resolve the 500 internal server error. You can access the file using FTP in the same folder that contains the WP content and WP admin folders. Simply rename the file to anything else you want. Then visit your website again to see if the problem has been solved. If it did work, head to the permalinks page in the settings tab in your WordPress admin area. You don't need to make any changes here. Just click Save Changes. This will generate a new .ht access file with the correct rewrite rules. The 500 internal server error can be caused if you've exhausted your website's PHP memory limit. To fix it, you need to edit the wp-config.php file using FTP. Copy the following line of code from the article in the description and paste it in the file just before the happy publishing message. If the code already exists in the file with a different memory limit, you can simply edit the number. Save the file when you're done. Note that this is only a temporary solution. You still need to fix the cause, which could be a poorly coded plugin or theme function. You can also reach out to your web hosting provider to pinpoint the exact issue. The 500 internal server issues can be caused by a specific plugin, or a conflict between two or more plugins. To fix it, you need to deactivate all the plugins installed. If you can't access the admin area, use an FTP client to access the WP content folder. Here, rename the plugins folder to something else. If this step fixed the error, it means it was indeed a plugin issue. Now, reactivate the plugins one by one to figure out the specific plugin that's creating the error. Remove that plugin and report the error to the plugin author. If your WordPress files have been corrupted, this step should fix it. Head to the WordPress.org website and download WordPress. Next, extract the zip file on your computer. In the WordPress folder, you'll find the WP admin and WP includes folders. These are the two folders that you need to upload to your website using FTP and overwrite the existing ones. Don't worry, this will not remove any of your information. If all the above steps didn't fix your 500 internal server error, then it's advised that you contact your hosting provider. The problem may be from their end and hence, out of your control. Moreover, they'll have access to the server log which will indicate the exact issue. 
Apart from these steps, you can also try clearing your browsing cache as one of the initial steps. You can take measures to fix the quick error establishing a database connection in WordPress if that's the text you see on the screen. Another thing worth checking is the permissions on various WordPress files and folders. You can either edit permissions yourself or reach out to your hosting provider as well. Finally, make sure you're following your CGI or Perl script protocols. Though it's a rare scenario, it's still possible that your website is facing coding or syntax errors in its CGI or Perl scripts. These simple steps should be able to resolve the 500 internal server error and give you back control over your WordPress website. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.